Okay, I gotta transform into my news alter ego. Or like Whoa. super news. Yeah. We're gonna have to have super, a lot of news because uh, there's gonna be no tech linked anymore Wait. for one week. What? Uh, everyone's getting fired. I'm getting fired. I'm kind of loud and obnoxious. Riley's getting fired for not advancing the prompter because I don't have my remote today. And uh, what's actually happening though is the entire Linus Media Group crew is going on a company bonding experience. We're calling it Workcation 2.0. It's a corporate oh. retreat into the wilderness yeah. where there is no tech and there is no news. But we'll be back on September 10th, just in time to make fun of Apple's new products that they'll be announcing on September the 12th. See that segue? Mm, it's tight. Yep, the company teased the event with a big circle that looks like their new office building. Or maybe they'll unveil a round Apple Watch. Actually, probably not. We know that because the Apple Watch Series 4 has been leaked with a new edge-to-edge -edge display, a super information-dense watch face, and what looks like an extra microphone hole. <gasps> It's revolutionary. What? Images have also leaked of a larger and smaller version of what is apparently going to be the iPhone XS. Yeah. Is that 10S? Is it like extra small? Is it like ex in excess, like the band? There's an excess of iPhone <laughs> in excess. <laughs> this is a very confusing, this is a very confusing thing. So one of them is 5.8 inches and the other is 6.5. And then there's maybe also a new version of the regular iPhone 10 coming in. Let's just hope that September 12th clears all of this up um, or doesn't because that's better for jokes at Apple's expense. Yeah. But wait. We can't let Apple have all of the leaks. The Google Pixel 3 has finally leaked after its larger sibling, the Pixel 3 XL, was leaked to Kingdom Come. Yes, my friends, it's amazing the boat even got there with all the leaks. And praise the phone gods, the Pixel 3 does not have a notch. So high fives, everyone. Woo! Nope, you missed it, you were too slow. The Pixel 3 does, though, have dual front-facing cameras. Screenshots of the phone specs also reveal that it's packing a 2160 by 1080 display, a 2915 milliamp hour battery, and a Snapdragon 845 CPU with eight, <coughs> excuse me, four gigs of RAM. Google is holding their own unveiling event on September the 9th, so we won't have to wait too long to get all the official details. But man, what a relief. Was, is that a leaking joke? No. Wow, that's kind of crass. Sure. And German tech event IFA 2018 is still rolling on with Lenovo announcing so many laptops that it makes my tummy tingle. Actually, that's probably the spicy soup I had for lunch. Uh, so first off is the ThinkPad X1 Extreme. This is the first 15 inch X1, but still pretty thin and light at under four pounds with a six core, eighth gen Core i7 processor and up to 64 gigs of RAM. If you don't need that much power, Lenovo also showed off the Yoga C630, the first Windows laptop powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 850 that will reportedly get it 25 hours of battery life using the lower power Windows 10 S. But wait, you want an even less usable laptop than that? Well, the Lenovo YogaBook C930 has got you covered. It takes the touch pad of the original and replaces it with an e-ink display, which I guess is better, uh, but there's almost certainly better machines that you can get for like a thousand bucks, like maybe Asus's new mid-range ZenBooks. The company has gone the Dell XPS route and shrunk the bezels down drastically. Wow, that is a lot of laptops. I guess the International Floppy Disk Assembly 2018 is the event yeah. to see laptop launches. That is not what it is short for. Very cool. But you know what is short? This segue to Audible. It's time for bits. Bits that don't fit on screwdrivers, oh. but they're fast. Brought to you today by Audible. So let me tell you guys, audibly, that you should go to audible.com slash techlinked to start a 30 day free trial and get your first audiobook for free. Audiobooks go great with other activities like hiking, road tripping, or pretending that your work has your full and undivided attention. I'd recommend listening to Dark Matter, a mind-bending sci-fi story complete with doppelgangers and quantum mechanics by the author of the Wayward Pines trilogy. It's probably gonna be a movie eventually, so why don't you be one of the cool kids and get out ahead of the curve and listen to it first. Start today at audible.com slash techlinked, or if you live in the US, text techlinked to 500-500. Why is he wearing that glove? No one will ever know.
On to the Quark Box. Huawei was also at IFA 2018 where they unveiled the Kyra 980, the first mobile chip using a seven nanometer manufacturing process based on ARM's Cortex A76 architecture. It also has a neural processing unit inside for AI tasks. Now that literally everything has to have AI tacked onto it somehow. Speaking of AI, Huawei also made a smart speaker called the AI Cube that isn't a cube. It's just kind of a blatant Google Home clone, except that it has Alexa instead of Google Assistant. So like the AI is short for like Alexa instead. <laughs> Hey. Also, it doubles as a router, so that's cool. A bunch of phones showed up at IFA too. The Sony Xperia XZ3 features a shiny new OLED display. The Xiaomi Mix 3 adds a sliding selfie camera section like the Oppo Find X, which I'm actually still working on my review of. Look at that thing, isn't that ridiculous? And the Honor Play is a gaming phone with haptic feedback. And the Huawei Mate 10 Lite is a large mid-range phone with a big battery. But also, the Pixel 3. It doesn't have a notch. Did I, meant, did I mention that already? Cool. I hope I did. Researchers at Queen's University have built a tablet called the Magic Scroll. Isn't that cute? It rolls into a cylindrical form thanks to its flexible touchscreen. But what's neat is it can also be controlled with dials on either side of the device. Man, I miss the good old days when you'd read things on papyrus and stone tablets yeah. and stuff. Really brings me back to my child. Really an old joke? Wow. No, you know what? You know what? Those jokes are getting old. Audio company Harman Kardon worked with Netgear to make a smart speaker, the Orbi Voice that also functions as a Wi-Fi repeater. That's cool. kind of neat, I guess. Yeah. And California State Assembly has approved a bill that would prohibit throttling or blocking of internet traffic by service providers. If the Senate approves the bill, it will be signed into law, which could act as an example for other states to follow, bringing net neutrality back to life, despite its crippling like curb stomping it got by the US federal government. This would be good or not so good, depending on your position. Me, I don't have a position. Yeah. You might say that I'm net neutral. Uh, that's not what, true, true neutral. True neutral. Like a Dungeons and Dragons reference. Lordy. What's not neutral is the fact that this episode is over. That sucks the big one, especially because there is no tech linked next week. I mean, maybe we could just, uh, we could upload one on Wednesday of just like, it's peanut butter jelly time, yeah. peanut butter, just like for like six minutes of this, do you think? Way yet, way yet, way yet, way yet, no, there you go, there you go, there you go, subscribe to the channel, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Ah!